It's DDK and I got something to say. Today we had a $100 disaster from beginning to end. I'm talking about it was absolutely terrible. Wait until you guys see what happened and wait until you see how long I was at the pickup and drop off location. Shout out to those who hate me, baby. We about to be great and skate. Now, we do have a load to pick up from the carrier company. We're gonna drive 47 deadhead miles, 17 miles on it, so 64 miles altogether for $100. I'm about to go ahead and pop my collar, but the question is this. Why would you do a load for $100? It's 64 miles, that don't make sense. Look, this is my plan, right? So, I was planning on going to Sun Run anyway. From my house to Sun Run is about 40 miles total. So, I'm like, if I'm gonna go to Sun Run for 40 miles for free, to possibly get an order, why don't I just add an extra 24 miles and make $100 on that? Comment below and let me know if that was smart or not. But, it absolutely was smart. You guys are gonna see what happened. We ain't rapping, we ain't capping, we snapping, let's go. Just like that, we are here at the pickup. It's time for us to go out here and run it up. This one ain't even open. Dang, shipping and receiving, oh seven. I gotta wait till seven. What time is it? I don't see nobody in this joint either. It's looking ugly. Oh, we don't open till seven. Dang, it's 5.55. They told me to be here at six. Sheesh. So I just saw somebody go in this door. So I think it may be open now, but I, I don't know if they loading anybody to seven. How you doing, boss? Um, I have a load to pick up. I have a load to pick up to go to Chicago. What is the name for the company? For us company. Um, oh, it says Greenwood. This Greenwood? Yeah, the whole building is Greenwood. Oh, so this is what this is what it says on here. It says Greenwood. Uh, so that don't say it is a use or nothing. Oh. No, because. The whole building is oh, green. the entire building. Yeah, but over there, they got uh, some uh, freezing big size on shit, and right here is juice. Oh, it's juice here? And over there, it's pixie. Yeah, so I'm picking up juice. Juice? Uh, yeah. Cherry juice. Yeah, right? cherry juice uh, or banana so juice. So it's here, but you gotta wait till seven. Wait till seven? Yeah. Okay. All right, All right appreciate you, boss. And just like that, I'm back, back. Mr. Magic City, I'm back, baby. We got somebody ready to get us steady. Oh, Jarvis checking in right here. See if they can get us right, right quick. A few moments later. How you doing, sir? I have a load to pick up to go to Chicago. for the third time. Uh, they gave me a confirmation number. I don't know if that's gonna work. We're gonna find out. What's going on with you, boss? I don't know if that's gonna work or not. We're gonna see. I have a quick question for you. So they sent me this confirmation number. This con appointment confirmation, is that it? Would that work No, that's not? not the number, but I can find your order number for that. Okay. Tell them they need to find a uh, purchase order number. This okay. is an appointment number. Right. I mean, sorry. This is appointment number. They need to find a purchase order. Purchase order number. PO number. What's your name? Jerome. J E R O M E. I'm in the van. So now you're going to be the third person in line. Wait till I call you. Okay. Good. Good. Appreciate you, boss. Guess what? It has been an hour and 50 minutes, and we still ain't got any, baby. They finally told us to put over to this door. So huge shout out to my guy to help us out in there, but man, it's been critical. Oh, critical, baby. 
perfect. Uh, my guy got me right. I gotta go to the office. Yep, yep. All right, thank you. This is right here, sign right there. How long you been doing this? You said what? Here. You liked it? Tell me about it. Can you sign this one? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Why do I have to sign? Oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. See, it's been a long morning. My fault. You have a good one, boss. <laughs> And we are here at the drop off. It's time to knock their socks off. Hopefully we can get in and out like a bank robbery because it's critical. Shipping and receiving. Hello, how you doing? I have a load to drop off for you guys. A few moments later. I don't have anything with this. You don't? I don't have anything for this. It's 25, this 2,500, right? Yeah. But I do not have anything for this. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'll reach out to the dispatcher. All right, thank you. We back again. Let's see if this helps us. How you doing, boss? All right, what's up? See if this helps us. I don't know if it is or not. Okay, I'm back to bother you again. Um, does this sealed number or this photo help you at all? Um, I, it was the same day pickup. I just picked it up from um, Melrose, and I just came straight here. I took that the, that picture from off the actual freight. Even with the seal number, I can't look up the seal. We go by PO. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have anything with this. Okay, so you need a PO number. You would have to call your dispatcher. Okay, so I need the PO number from a dispatcher. I'm sorry? I need the PO number from a, from a dispatcher? Um, yeah, because I have this one, but I mean, it doesn't pop up. That's not popping up. Yeah. Okay, so you need a new PO number. Yeah. Okay. If, well, if that's the one they schedule with, then yes. Okay. All right, thank you. And we are back again, clap again. Woo -hoo, we've been in here so many times, baby. Let's see, what's, let's see if we can get work this time. Okay, they told me to tell you it's for Albanese, which is right over here. Okay. It still ain't coming up, huh? No. <laughs> A few moments later. Uh huh. Can you find a dispatcher and have him send over an email? An email? Yeah, because we don't have an appointment for this. Okay. So if they send over the email, I'll just take it. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. And I'm back for the fifteenth thousand time. Hopefully, they got this joint situated. They are supposed to reach out to him, so we're gonna see. Um, they uh, the the dispatcher said that they uh, reached out to you guys. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay. I can take it in right now. Okay. Um, question for you. So it's on a pallet. Do you guys unload it, or will I have to unload it myself? Do you have a seal? A what? Do you have a seal? I don't know if that is. Oh. You do. Um, I think it would be us. Okay. You can go to ten. I'll go to and then ten. Back up halfway, and then just wait for them until they come. So they okay. Can break the seal. All right going on with you boss am i supposed to unload this it's like six buckets it's yes yeah, a pallet it's a pallet let me show it to you if y'all and hey, look if y'all don't want to i just got to reach out to the dispatcher and let them know so they can pay me for it for me to unload it otherwise you can do whatever you want to do it's up to y'all you want to back up on the ramp? yeah that's fine all right a few moments later. Yeah, uh, you have to just uh, let your dispatch know that you're gonna help uh, unload it. Okay, I'll let them know. Give me, that's your number you should call me from? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call you right, right when they say I'm ready, I'm gonna give you a call. Okay. 
Yeah, because I got to let them know first so that I can make sure I get paid. Because if they don't confirm it and I do it, I ain't going to get paid for it. All so right, that's the reason why. Okay. I'm going to call you right back, though. 2,000 years later. We finally got the approval to unload this joint. It's time for us to get on point. to go over this $100 disaster. I'm talking about, look, I ain't gonna lie. I was highly irate about this whole situation. I, I'm just gonna ask you guys this. For those of you who uh, use carrier companies or do over the road and all that stuff, how do y'all deal with all this nonsense? I don't, I don't understand it, man. I don't like sitting around playing games, waiting and all this stuff. It really, really bothers me a lot. I don't really like to do it, but you gotta do what you gotta do so you can get this money like it ain't funny. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys this. First off, the first messed up was they told us to be there at 6 a.m. I got up early. Well, I get up early every day, but I'm rushing. Uh, I usually uh, get on. I usually call my business partner at around 5:20. We talk on the phone, look on the roadie map, and see what's going on. Which one we gonna pick? We gonna pick this, 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 this. Okay, and then we'll see if we got them. Then go from there. I actually had to leave out of the house at five to get to the pickup location at six. We get there at six. The thing is closed. So I, uh, after a while, like probably like 10 minutes later, I see a couple of people going in there. I'm like, okay, let me try to go in here so we try to get busy right quick. I'm trying to get in and get out because we're going to run into Chicago traffic, as you guys saw. Y'all saw that traffic, the traffic, traffic, look for my traffic. I saw a couple before Maverick, it was critical. So the dude tell me that they cannot load me until seven o'clock. I'm like, okay, cool, man, dang. So then I go in, I go back in there around seven. First off, people that got in line and cut at me now at this time. Because seven o'clock, people didn't went in there a little bit ahead of seven. So two people was in front of me before that. So boom, I do that, boom, go in there, talk to them. Now they tell me I need a PO, a PO number. I'm like, come on, G. They told me, look, they did not tell me nothing about no PO number. The dispatcher never told me nothing about no PO number. They told me to print the paperwork and take it to y'all. That's it. Send me off with that. I had to talk to reach out to the dispatcher, finally got the info, went back in. And I still didn't have a PO number. I had a some some number. I had some type of number. I can't remember what number it was, but I did have a certain number, and it was able to find the, the law, right? Okay, cool. Get loaded and everything. Now, the total time we waited at the pickup location all together was two hours and 13 minutes. We waited two hours and 13 minutes at the pickup location. So, okay, cool. After I get loaded, now I got to go back in again and get the paperwork signed. I want to get my stuff signed right here so I can go. I already been sitting here for 3,000 years already. So I'm trying to uh, get busy, but I can't get busy. It's their process, so it is what it is. I don't own the company, so I gotta do what they say to do. I go in there, get the stuff signed, then we get on the road, right? So, get to the drop-off location. You guys saw what happened. I get there. Now, they don't, now I need a number. The number that I got on the paperwork is not the right paperwork. It's not the, I don't know if it's not the right paperwork, but it's not the right number that they need to type in the computer to find a load that I'm supposed to be dropping off. Because again, it probably was the PO number. So I reach out to the dispatcher. Wait a long, long time. They don't know what's going on. They had to reach out to the customer. The customer said, oh, okay, try this. I tried that. They told me to tell them some name or something. I tried that. That didn't work. So after a while, another girl helped the girl that was helping me. And then she's like, yeah, let me go check in the back and see what's going on. She went in the back. She said, unfortunately, we can't do nothing right now. But reach out to the dispatcher and tell them to email us. And I will let you leave the stuff here. And you can go out there and you can keep on doing what you're doing. So I'm like, okay, cool. Huge shout out to her for hooking me up. If you watch this video, huge shout out to you because you helped me out. Because I'll probably still be sitting there right now. So boom, that happened. Finally, we got everything situated. Then, let me say this. Let me, let me be very clear. I specifically texted them and told them, hey, not only does the paperwork not make sense, I, they, I also might have to unload here. I told them this beforehand. I told them this like maybe an hour before we had to unload it. I told them this beforehand because when I saw the vans coming in, all of the vans, they had to unload right there. Where, where, where I was just at, it was like, no, they was like on number, I was on number 10, they was probably on like number three or four. We could see them right there. Every time a van come here, they gotta get loaded from the dock right there. I specifically told them that. They told me they sent the information to the to customer. Next thing you know, they ain't told the customer nothing. So now I gotta wait again for the dispatcher to reach out to the customer to get confirmed, and then we had to unload that joint. Now, for that unloader, we did receive an extra $75. We don't say that. So we had $175 right there. But the wait time that we had to wait at the drop-off location was two hours and 20 minutes. So all together, we waited 
four hours and 33 minutes of wait time and we could not go out there and get on the grind. We sat there and did nothing. So I reached out to them like, ain't I'm supposed to be. They, they sent me the uh, rate sheet. They're like, okay, so I seen the rate sheet. The rate sheet said it was supposed to be for 175. I reached out to them like, ain't I'm supposed to be compensated for the wait time. What about the wait time? Come to find out. Now, mind you, I think they low-key finesse. I really don't know for sure, but I think in the previous past, I think in the past that they paid me after the first two hours. Like after two hours at the wait time, anything after that, you got to wait. They also automatically pay you. But this time, they're talking about, so that ain't how I work. We only supposed to pay you after two hours at the pickup location and after two hours at the drop-off location. So you could wait a total of four hours and not get paid nothing, which is absolutely crazy. So we got a measly $33 for four hours and some of waiting time. That's all we got. So for that one order, we only received- I thought it was $20 for 33 minutes. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh my, my, my partner was right. I'm wrong. It wasn't, it wasn't $33, it was 33 minutes, an extra 33 minutes. So it was four hours and 33 minutes and we only received $20, not $33. We only received $20. Now, I know a lot of y'all out there, y'all always get on the gig gap. The gig gap, they taking you up top. The gig gap doing this. Look. If I was waiting for the gig app, I only got paid. Pull up a new Escalade. Let's add it up right now. If we did this on the gig app, and we did this on Dispatch specifically, not any other app, Dispatch. Dispatch paid you 75 cents per minute after the first 15 minutes. So, let's take away, let's take away the, um, but it, at the pickup and the drop off, right? So let's take away, we're gonna take away that 30 minutes right there. So we just gonna leave it at four hours. 75 cent times 240 minutes if we would've got an extra $180 for waiting there, and I got $20. So I, that's all I wanna say about that. But for that order, we only received $195. And it took us literally five hours all together for me leaving my house to getting there, to doing all that waiting time, to doing all this stuff. And if we didn't have to unload, it really would've been critical. If that round one blocked off, oh, we would've only got $120 for four hours. So unloading it helped us with the $75, but it added a little bit more wait time, but I'm cool with that because we was already there for 3,000 years. It was absolutely terrible. Comment below and let me know what you guys think about this. I was irate, I was highly upset about this. I, man, look, that's all I'm gonna say. But we do got another order, we're about to go ahead and get an order. Order number two, y'all know my flow, sick in the flu, I thought y'all knew. So let me tell y'all, let me, let me go with a little bit more gist. I'm gonna do some little talking in this video. Now, let me say this. We were headed home, right? After this long time of waiting and doing nothing, sitting there twiddling our thumbs, we gonna go home, right? But then Freight reached out to me and said they have a order to pick up from this place and then go to the, uh, from a certain city and then go to the airport. So I'm like, I don't know. They say, are you available? I say, yeah, I'm available. Give me the details. They said it's from Atasca um, to Chicago, which is the, they want us to go to the airport. So I'm like, what's the payout? They're like, hold on, I'm in the meeting and all that. So I ain't got time to wait for y'all. but. On our way doing that, this order did pop up. We're about to run it up and get these bucks. We have a order on. Rody, Rody, Rody with a dab wrench. We have a rolling order. The pickup location is Home Depot. We're gonna drive three miles and we will receive a payment of $44.85. We're about to pull up to pick up the prize and drive. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at Home Depot so we can stack these chips like Pringles, baby. The first time hey, time. how you doing, sir? Um, I have a rolling order to pick up. Alrighty. What's the order number? Uh, WJ47983013. That's what I'm talking about. Nice and easy. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have a great day, sir. You too. This joint is nice and sweet. Like them joints in, I ain't even gotta strap them down. That's what I'm talking about. Make it easy for me, baby. We are getting bit this Just like that, we gone. It's time for us to go out here and get it on. Let's get it. And we are here at the drop-off. 
let's get the customer here so we can get busy right quick. I don't know if that doorbell works. I'm not gonna do They got the red dog. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that red dog. Y'all know my favorite color red. I'm not trying to get this bread. Hello, how you doing, sir? I'm here with your Home Depot order. Oh yeah, you, you can just put it right in front of the garage door. Oh, okay, right here. All right, thank you. <coughs> I gotta get my gloves. Knock this out right quick so we can get this grip. Back like that, Joe. It's that the wrist back. Lean with it. Oh. What y'all know? Uh. What y'all know about that? <laughs> what y'all know about that? <laughs> Great chance that you're gonna fall anyway, so. Why play games? We can do our thing. Let's change. Yiddy! Yeah, What we gotta do next? Comment below and let me know. Comment below and let me know. What we gotta do next? At the garage. That back comes the forward. I don't know. Just like that, we go. Just like that, it is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I'm gonna tell you right now, I absolutely did not enjoy making it. I wanna say this. It was absolutely terrible. And honestly, we was gonna go home. I'm like, man, we might as well go. But then I'm like, it's already bad, let's just make it even worse. Let's just go, look, sometimes you gotta fight through the bad times, baby. It ain't gonna be good all the time, especially when you're using these care companies and doing these loads and over the road and all that stuff. All that sitting around waiting and stuff, I do not like it. I like to go off there and get busy, uh, 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 because the way I think time is money. So if I'm wasting time sitting there, especially if I ain't making no money, I gotta wait four hours. I don't even wanna talk about it no more. Look, it is what it is, man. That's what happened. You guys were there. It was absolutely terrible. But we did make $239.85, enough money to pay the rent. We ride around with Bams, no 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, make sure you lock in tomorrow, because it's going back down, because we ain't playing around, because all 2024, we just going to pull up uh, and go get it popped like Crisco. I will see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.